Oh, hello there. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a recipe revisit. You might recall not too long ago I did the sandwich filling from the College Woman's Cookbook of 1923. Um, I tried to plus it up with jalapeno salt. Didn't work. But I did ask you to comment what you would plus it up with. So today I've chosen four of the most frequently mentioned ones in the comments uh, to try and plus up this sandwich filling. You'll remember to pecans we add sweet relish and mayonnaise. And that's our base. Get that loaded onto our bread. Now for the plus ups. In one area, we're gonna put in some sliced green apple. Another, grapes. And another, blue cheese. And then the last one, brie. Okay, I'm gonna start with what is arguably the mildest plus up. Uh, so let's give this sandwich filling with brie a go. It's okay. It's not bad. The sweet relish is still a little bit strong. Okay, let's give this sandwich filling plus up with grapes. Ago. Mm-hmm. That works. I mentioned in the original video that it kind of tasted like a Waldorf salad, kind of. This brings it home. Next up, sandwich filling plus up with a Granny Smith apple. That's even better. Because now you have the tartness contrasting with the sweetness and working really well with the pecans. And last but not least, sandwich filling plus up with blue cheese. That definitely works. The tanginess of the blue cheese working opposite of the sweetness of the relish works really well with the pecans and of course the mayonnaise is just, they're bringing richness so. All right, look, uh, none of these were bad. In fact, these were all plussed up. So kudos to you for coming up with these plus ups. Um, I'm gonna go in the order from lowest to highest. Uh, again, none of them were bad. So I think the sandwich filling plussed up with brie probably clocks in around six and a half, maybe seven. Um, brie is good. I don't know it necessarily goes really well with the ingredients, but it's fine, it tastes good, so yeah, six and a half. So the sandwich filling plus up with the grapes, I'm gonna go seven on that one. Um, it was a more sweetness to the sandwich, but it did work in that environment with the mayonnaise and the relish and the pecan, so it did pretty good, so I'm gonna give that a seven. All right, so now we get to the Granny Smith version, and that one actually was interesting because it kind of played counter to the sweetness with a little tartness. Um, I am gonna give that a seven and a half, and last but not least, my favorite was the blue cheese. I love blue cheese. It's got a great tanginess to it and it counteracted the relish, worked well with the mayonnaise, worked well with the pecans. Eight. Again, none of them are bad. I will definitely finish uh, all of this, but would I make it again? I might with the blue cheese or the apples. Yeah, which is not something I would have thought after tasting it the first time. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow.